All right, everyone. So in the last video, we have successfully downloaded and installed this Anaconda on our local machine. So now time to start this Spider IDE, which is already pre-bundled with this Anaconda distribution. So let me just open command line prompt and let's just verify whether Conda has been successfully installed on our machine or not. So let me open command line prompt. If you are a Windows or a Linux or a Mac user, you can open the terminal. All right. So let's go to our workspace. So workspace I have created inside the desktop Python. And let me fire the command like Conda info. If it gives result, that means Anaconda has been successfully installed on our machine. So you can see at this particular location, we have installed this Anaconda and everything is running fine. Now, before we start the spider ID, I want to highlight one thing that if you want to install some other packages and library in a Python, you can use this pre bundle pip package manager available as a part of this Python distribution and just type pip install and whatever the package you want to install, let's say numpy package I want to install. So it will install this or download this numpy from the central repository and install in your local machine. So this is the pip way. There is another utilities also available for local installation like conda install numpy. All right. So this is how you can install it. The next is we need to start this spider ID because from the spider ID only we are going to write all our code. So to start the spider ID, you can just type spider and enter it. So it will take little time. First time when you are starting this spider, let me close all those things, which is already open earlier. All right. So spider ID is open here and now if you already and if you also open in your machine, there might be a different colors and a team you will be able to see. Now, in my case, I have done all those changes related to themes and font size and a font style. So if you want to change all those things, you can just simply go to tools, preference. And from here, you can change the fonts. You can change the font size also and a themes and everything you can configure from here. I like this theme, so I'm just going to continue with that. So from here, you can write all those Python code. We'll see. Before that, let me introduce all those options are available throughout this whole ID. So this is one of the lightweight ID already pre bundled with this Anaconda distribution. On a top right corner, there is a working directory. You can set it. So let's just set working directory to desktop and let me search for Python. All right. So all those coding we are going to do inside this one. Along with that, there is a help. So I will show you how you can get the help of individual functions and help will appear at this particular location. Then we have a variable explorer. So all those variables you will create in that session will be appeared here. File explorer. So you can see the one file we have created earlier like hello.py at this particular location. So it will list down all those files and folders are available where our working directory is currently pointing to. All right. Apart from that, on our bottom right corner, there is a IPython console is available. So it works exactly like a Python interpreter. So you can write full fledged Python code. Let's say six plus six plus, oops, six plus eight. And immediately, if you press the enter, you will get the result. Now, on the left hand side, you can create full fledged Python code. So let me save this file. Let's say save as and let's just go to Python. And let me just save this file name as a or let, let's just open hello.py. That's better. All right. Hello. Now, hello.py got replace so let me write a very simple python code like a print although we'll see in a detail what this print is hello python now 
there are two ways we can execute this code so one is you can just select this line and press control enter now after doing control enter just observe what happens at this particular location on a ipython console so you can see after pressing control enter it has copied this line pasted on a ipython console and executed those line so if you want to do line by line execution you can just directly write all your code on a ipython console or you can write inside this full flight uh, not put or i would say not paid kind of editor and select individual line or if you want to let's say select multiple line then also it will work so let me just copy this one two times so this two times i have copied or multiple lines i have copied and it has pasted both of this line and executed it all right so this is the one way line by line execution whenever you want to do and an initial time or as a junior developer we are going to start this way other way is that you can just simply click on this run file button so just click on run file or there is a shortcuts are available like f5 and just run it so it says that always show this dialog when file first file run so just run it and you can see there is a one function got executed and it has run this hello.py file which is eventually going to print hello.python two times so this way we can execute this file all right so this is how you can execute your python code now from the next video onwards we'll get dive into different functionalities available in a python but before that i want to discuss one more thing about python 2 versus python 3 so second version family of python and i would say the most latest version of python all right see you into next video